Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to talk about how to correct orangey, too warm, reddish kind of roots. Um, whether you've been coloring your hair at home or you've been getting salon color, however a couple weeks into your color your hair just goes into this unwanted orangey reddish mess. So as you guys know, since we began quarantine, I started doing virtual consultations to help you guys uh, with your color needs and basically so I can help you reach your hair goals at home. And what I've learned through all of this and talking to new clients every day is how much this root color is an issue. So I'm just going to quickly explain basically what it is, why it happens, and for my DIYers, uh, how you can do this at home. So basically, like I said, if you color your hair at home and say you color your roots, you're touching up grays or you want to lighten your roots, results may actually look great right away once you've done it, but it's more that kind of really warm, not really hot roots, but just basically what the hair evolves into, that's just not pretty. So the reason this happens is because when you use a color, so not lightener, not toner, but when you use an actual color, it has a little bit of lift and then a little bit of deposit. So that means it removes some of your natural pigment and adds in some artificial pigment. So if you're removing more color than you're putting in, what's going to happen after a couple of weeks? that artificial color is going to fade. And what you're gonna be left with is that lift. So in order to fix the problem from the root is to actually get good quality lift. One option, which I feel like I see people do all the time, is continuously tone and use purple shampoos and blue shampoos and anything to kind of correct that. Now, yes, that can help if you have the right shade for the hair color you're trying to achieve, but it's you're never really curing it. You're just constantly maintaining it. Now, if you want to have a beautiful root color that is lighter than your original natural root color, you have to effectively lighten the hair. So that means you have to lighten the hair enough so that then you can tone and deposit the tones you want into the hair so that they'll actually stay there. And now the brighter you lift the hair, the better it is at kind of holding on to those tones. Now I feel like we're better understanding of this for blondes. We all know that for blondes you lift the hair as much as possible and then you add like a purple lilac -y kind of toner and it helps balance out the yellow tones and you're left with this beautiful champagne sandy blonde. Now the exact same thing can be done for brown hair. So what I've found in the over 10 years of doing hair is when you want a beautiful, shimmery, light root that is not going to go orangey over time, you actually should over lift the hair a little bit. So say you want to go one level higher, I would actually lift two levels and then add a toner and that's where, because with that toner adding that deposit back, you are lowering it back one level. So in fact, you only look one level lighter, but it's actually going to be sustainable and it's actually going to stay there. So now that we understand what's happening to the hair, I'm going to show you my hair when I only lift the roots with color. This is what I'm left with. Again, unwanted kind of orangey level sixes and sevens in my hair. Now the best way to lift the hair effectively is to go in with a baby light. So it's a smaller version of a highlight. So you're kind of going in finer woven pieces of hair and you don't need a lot of foils. So for my lightener formula, I went in with 30 volume and I'm just going to weave out a few baby lights throughout just to get brightening at the roots. Then we're gonna process this for about 45 to 50 minutes. Then we're going to remove these foils and then comes the magic part. This is where you can 
tone with a lower level, so something between maybe a six and an eight. If you want this kind of shimmery, brown, still looking color. Now, if you want something more in the blonde family, I would tone with something from like a nine to a 10. Additionally to that, to make that root just look that much softer and more natural, we're gonna go and do a root tap. Doing a root tap is always just gonna make your color look more expensive and more natural. So essentially the root tap should kind of match your original root color. So for me, it's about a level six right now. So I go in with a Redken Shade ZQ in level six N with some processing solution. This is deposit only. So we're just going to apply that directly on the roots. And we're just gonna tap that on the roots throughout just to soften that root area. Now right away from applying that root tap, I'm gonna go in with the toner of choice. Now for me, because I am blonde, I am going to go in with a level 9P by Redken Shades EQ. And this is going to give me like a pearly blonde color. But like I said, if you're looking to have more of that beautiful, sustainable brown root, I would go in with a level 7 or an 8. So I'm just going to be applying that in that midsection, that new area where I just created a new highlight. We're going to process that for about 18 minutes. The roots will have gotten just a little over 20 minutes and now we're all ready to shampoo. So as you can see, if you kind of look at just my roots, they do look darker, even though I did have that highlight all the way to the root, but because of that root tab, the color is subtle and softer at the root than it is at the ends. If I bring my ends up to my roots, you can see how much lighter my ends are and basically how much darker my roots are. Even though I feel like when you look at it straight on, it does look pretty blonde. Anyway, I feel this is a very simple concept on how to brighten the roots without running into that issue in a couple of weeks of having unwanted warm tones in the roots. If you have been having this issue, I definitely recommend giving this a try. If you're still somehow unsure of what level, what shade you should be using and you are looking for a virtual consultation with me, I always leave the info on how to book that with me in the description box down below. But I will continue to make videos this way to help you better understand and hopefully you can from this video know what it is you need for your hair. But of course, if you do need further assistance, just know that I am here available to help you. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you have beautiful, neutralized, and tone roots from now on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.